Hey guys, what's going down? This is Sit Down, otherwise known as Matt Wong, and uh, today I'm going to go over some pretty sweet voice effects that you can do in Audacity. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a freelance voice actor. I do mostly uh, voice acting for other people's machinima, and I am also a machinima director slash Call of Duty commentator. So yeah, I make machinima in Halo, and this is why I know so much about uh, making cool voice effects in Audacity. So, um... First, let's just record something so we have something to work with. Um, I am the culmination of 40 years of work. And one day, I will make everyone suck my balls. Okay, that was kind of a weird voice clip. Uh, and I'll make a second one to demonstrate a second voice effect I want to do, which is like the red versus blue style helmet effect. Not a lot of people know how to do these, so uh, yeah. Actually, that that should work. I'll just use that. Whatever. Um, okay. So, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is clear out the background noise, which is usually there unless you have a super quiet room, which I've never seen or heard of, unless it's, like, professional quality. So, uh, just select part of your uh, voice clip that has no talking in it, just the background noise, and get noise profile. And then go back under effect and uh, go to noise removal and press OK. Oh wait, you need to select everything, then go back under noise removal and press OK. So now the background noise is gone, and I think that that really positively affects the quality of the recording. So uh, yeah, after that I'm going to show you guys how to do the uh, first the uh, red versus blue helmet effect. So I'm just going to select this, and uh, go to equalization, and just do something like this, you can move like that around to, to change how much you want the radio effect, and so just do something you know, kind of like that, and uh, it, should sound, it should sound like it's coming through radio now, so let's, let's check that out and see what it sounds like. Okay, that was kind of a weird voice clip, uh, and then I'll make a second one to demonstrate a second voice effect I want to do, which is like the red versus blue style helmet effect, not a lot of people know how to do these, so uh, yeah. Actually, that, that should work, I'll just use that. Whatever. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty cool effect. A lot of people don't know how to do that, so uh, if you want to make like a red versus blue parody and try and make it as much like red versus blue as possible, you know, that's that's the way to go. Or if you want to like... That's kind of how Stormtroopers in Star Wars sound like too, so it's just a pretty cool and neat effect. And, uh, you know, if you increase this, it'll sound like it's coming through a radio. So yeah, it's, it's a very useful effect, I find. And uh, the second effect is just like a badass robot dude. I, I don't even know how I figured this out. I think it was somebody else's YouTube video, so... Uh, Credit to that guy, even though I, I can't remember where he is or who he is. So, yeah, um, first thing you want to do is uh, go to uh, bass boost. So you want to boost the bass. I usually don't do this unless I'm making some voice effect that sounds completely different from my own voice. So uh, this is just going to boost the bass frequencies. Just uh, disable this and uh, max out the, uh, the bass. So uh, do that and... Uh, you're going to want to duplicate your track and then uh, deepen the pitch by uh, different amounts per track that you duplicated. So let's just do uh, about 21% change on the first clip and on the second clip uh, let's do 11% uh, change. Uh, this You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I mean you can do like you know, 23% change or 30% change depending on how deep your voice is and how deep you want it to go so obviously it's up to you and uh, yeah the next step you're going to want to select uh, both of these and go to effect and uh, phaser and uh, yeah you're going to want to max that out max this out leave that at pretty low 0 0.1, 0 0.2 something like that uh, max this out, leave that at zero, and leave feedback at zero. So, yeah, do that. And it gives this really sick, badass voice effect. So just check that out, guys. I am the culmination of 40 years of work. And one day, I will make everyone suck my balls. <laughs> I forgot I did that now. But yeah, that's that's how to do some pretty sweet voice effects in Audacity, guys. So 
I hope you learned something from this video, and uh, if you have any questions about how to do this, these voice effects or any other voice effects, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. And all, or if you want me to use me for a voice actor or something, because I've been told I'm a pretty decent voice actor. So yeah, just comment or in the or PM me or something. I'm always available. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I don't know, subscribe maybe if you want to. So uh, yeah, see ya.